Hello, fellow VR pilot. Did you know that VTOL VR has an absolute ton of free community-made single-player content? Well, here are just a few of the many free, enjoyable single-player campaigns for the FA-26B. Let's start off with the highly rated Sky Wars. If you couldn't tell from the logo, this campaign by Fear Cat is very loosely based on the Star Wars movies, though everyone will still be using the usual VTOL VR aircraft instead of X-Wings and TIE Fighters. There's a story here as well, also loosely inspired by Star Wars, except instead of fighting an evil empire, the enemy are the oil cartels. Though that's not really very important. Really, that's all just a vehicle for some vaguely Star Wars themed missions and opportunities for the campaign author to use a few sound bites from the movies. All wings report in. Red King standing by. Red King standing by. Red three standing by. Red six standing by. Good night, standing by. Red two standing by. Red eleven standing by. Red five standing by. Not to spoil too much, but there is a sort of Death Star trench scene, and you even get to be Red 5. Of course, if the Star Wars references don't sound all that appealing, this is still a pretty great campaign for the FA-26 that can be difficult without being unapproachably hard. Though I did run into some bugs and failed triggers once or twice, such as during an escort mission. The transport to be escorted ended up just flying in circles when a batch of enemy planes were supposed to spawn. Also, the author does have a habit of spawning enemy planes extremely close to you. This is probably to force you to have an intense close-range dogfight instead of the usual AIM-120 missile duel. While this worked out sometimes, most of the time it just ended up feeling cheap and unfair to suddenly be barraged with multiple close-range missiles from a place that had been completely threat-free just moments ago. Regardless, Sky Wars is a great campaign that is full of memorable and unique missions. I highly recommend it, and if you're a Star Wars fan, then you'll also get some fun references and chuckles out of it too. Next Next up, let's talk about a campaign that is pretty new and highly underrated, Operation Tollgate for the FA-26 by Liao and Zulu. I'm shocked there aren't more subscriptions and upvotes for this campaign because it is an absolutely fantastically varied and creative campaign for the FA-26. The maps are an even mix of water and land, which gives you a lot of opportunities to face enemy naval and land-based units, just as the missions themselves are a fantastic mix of anti-air and anti-ground combat. You might be fairly used to the standard formula for VTOL VR missions. Well, Operation Tollgate has some missions where things get really switched up in creative ways, like one mission where you must hit some enemy ground targets while evading the notice of the enemy combat air patrol above that will call for overwhelming enemy reinforcements if it detects you, or another mission where you can't rearm and can only refuel at a tanker loitering above, so you better use your ammunition efficiently. The briefings are thorough and even has a nice section that recommends a loadout to you in in case you're unsure of what to bring. You also start with relatively primitive munitions compared to the AIM-120s, AGM-65s, and airs ts that you might be used to. Instead, you'll have to make do with AIM-7s and Sidewinders for a while. But when you complete enough missions and you get access to better munitions, it really feels like you earned them and like you now need them. The missions in Operation Tollgate have a very smooth difficulty curve, getting harder as you get better tools to tackle them with, and some missions even have unexpected curveballs and priority targets thrown your way when you might have expected it to already have been completed. If you want missions that feel unique and have a fair mix of air-to-air -air and air-to-ground combat, then try out the Operation Tollgate campaign. It really deserves more attention than it's gotten. Our third single-player campaign is the Artemis campaign by Judge Dredd. The first thing that struck me about this campaign was the map. It is the most well-made and detailed map I've seen in any of the VTOL VR campaigns I've tried, but it was actually not made by Judge Dredd, but a different person called dddeath underscore 666. This map, called Greek Islands, has numerous cities, settlements, and airfields spread out on several islands. The terrain itself is wonderfully blended so that it looks natural, and the settlements each have suburbs, downtown areas, and even remote buildings all connected by roads. The campaign itself focuses on a single large island, and there are some really great missions here, alongside a few lackluster ones, where not much happens and you'll find yourself flying over the water for long periods of time. Still, the missions that are good in this campaign are very impressive, though the odd thing about the Artemis campaign is that it gets easier as you progress through the missions rather than harder. The first three missions are actually the best and most impressive of the bunch. The later missions are still good, don't get me wrong, but don't have the same level of challenge and spectacle as the first ones. Oh, and I do like the thought of only giving the player limited saves, as is done in this campaign. This is a great way to add some interesting challenge 
launch the missions by making the player wonder when they should use their limited pool of quick saves. It was a nice change of pace that got me out of the habit of saving every five minutes, just in case. A uh, quick warning here, the rest of the campaigns in this video all reference or are based on real life military conflicts. They're separated here because some people, understandably, don't like mixing their gaming leisure time with real war, so you've been warned. Our first VTOL VR campaign based on a real conflict is the Liberation of Kuwait FA-26 campaign, also by Judge Dredd. Not to be confused with a similarly named campaign for the AH-94, which is also excellent by the way. These missions are very loosely based on the air war and following ground invasion of the nation of Kuwait during Operation Desert Storm. The first mission starts off slowly with some aerial reconnaissance using your TGP, and the rest is a tight series of four bombing and close air support missions. That's almost entirely the focus of this campaign. Close air support and strikes using smart munitions. You'll be spending a lot of time watching prospective targets or friendly forces with your TGP before getting the order on whether or not to engage. Despite not being a very difficult campaign, it's a ton of fun and very tightly put together. Almost all orders and prompts, even the briefings, are voiced. The map is a little barren though, and not the best approximation of Kuwait to be found out there in VTOL VR, but the missions do a great job of integrating friendly forces into your objectives. When you support friendly units, you'll also see those friendlies fighting on the ground, and so the missions really sell that you are giving vital support to real troops below. The missions are well made, immersive, and not overly intense. Mostly, you only have to make sure to stay out of man pad and AAA range. If you want a little leisurely precision bombing and missions polished enough to feel like they should be paid DLC, then give the Liberation of Kuwait campaign a try, though expect to spend a lot of time looking at the ground with your TGP in this one. Oh, and this campaign also does have some fun little touches, like this guy who you are told to stop for to arm your weapons each time you go out to fly on a combat mission. This is a very well polished and scripted campaign that does a good job of making you feel like part of an operation alongside other military units. The last single player campaign we'll be talking about here is based on the still active Russo-Ukrainian war. Defenders of Kyiv by Innocence of Children focuses on a small group of Ukrainian fighter pilots just before and during the Russian invasion of Ukraine on the northern Kyiv front. The Russian military attempted to pull off a high-risk and high-speed operation to quickly capture Kyiv and force the Ukrainian government to flee or capitulate. In this campaign, you are part of the Ukrainian military forces that prevented this from happening. The thing that makes the Defenders of Kyiv campaign stand out from all other custom single-player campaigns in VTOL VR, even more so than its setting, are the wingmen that you fly with. Both are actually characters with dialogue and personalities. In fact, there's a lot of dialogue in these missions. Your two wingmen, Joker and Queen, go from corny to dramatic very quickly when the invasion starts. Their banter fills out the quiet moments and gives each mission a greater sense of context and drama. While English is also clearly not the author's first language and there are a lot of minor errors in the script, the intent of the writing is a very solid story and the character drama hits as hard as the mission themselves do. In terms of story and drama, the Defenders of Kyiv campaign has got to be the best one out there. This campaign also severely limits what equipment you have access to, especially earlier on. While you'll never get all of the fancy ultra-modern missiles and ground attack munitions that you'll have access to in normal play, limiting you to less sophisticated weapons makes the campaign more difficult throughout and changes the usual flow of air-to-air -air fights. It also changes how you engage ground targets, and unfortunately this doesn't always turn out in the best way. While being forced to rely on dumb bombs and missiles more than usual is interesting, it's more annoying than anything when you receive objectives to destroy 50 targets at once, and then even more after that. While ostensibly you'll have your wingmen and other allied units helping you out with this tall order, they're not very effective and they'll also inevitably end up being shot down or run out of ammo trying to chew through all of those enemy ground targets. This leaves you using all of your munitions up over and over and needing to fly back to base a bunch of times to actually complete the objective. This gets kind of tedious, and I wish you didn't get such a massive amount of ground targets to take out at once. Even when you get access to laser-guided bombs, it's still not the most engaging gameplay to just loop around over and over again and drop a bomb to take out a few targets. It goes on for a bit too long. Still, the briefings have great detail, and the battles on the ground that you're supporting are absolutely massive and impressive. This campaign felt really unique and fresh in a lot of ways, and I highly
highly recommend it. If you know of a campaign for any aircraft in VTOL VR that you think deserves playing, then feel free to let me know in the comments. Huge thank you to all of the mod and campaign authors out there for this game. You guys really add so much to VTOL VR and make it so much more of a great VR game than it would be otherwise. You're awesome. Everybody have fun flying out there.